Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. We are back again with some more Destiny 2. It's season 9 of Season of Dawn, of course, which is already well in progress. So this video right here, I'm going to go to the quest uh, category and show you guys how to get the Alpine Dash Exotic Sparrow. That's for the 2019 edition of The Dawning. So, if you have baked 50 goods from last year's Dawning, you are automatically credited with one third of the quest steps done. What you'll need now is dark chocolate moats and a new recipe for 2019 called Fractal Rolls. Now let me just go to Eva's Holiday Oven 2.0 and show you the Masterwork Edition. Now in the previous video, um, we have managed to um, complete all the recipes. And the reason why they're now in purple is that we have we have now made every single recipe for both last year and this year. I think there was like, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Okay, I'm pretty sure there was like 15 last year. And these are the seven new ones for this year. So, <coughs> sorry about that. For fractal rolls, without the masterwork, it's 15 essence of Donnie but if you masterwork it you will only require 10 of those you still need Vex milk and pinch of light that's for fractal rolls for thousand layer cookie it's taken butter and delicious explosion lavender ribbon cookies it's Vex milk and personal touch fried shado you'll need dark ether cane and superb texture for the hot crust fire buns it's cane uh, ether cane excuse me and balanced flavors Ascended Oatmeal Raisin Cookies. You'll need one Jitin Powder and one Finishing Touch. And for the Hackberry Tart, you'll need one Cabal Oil and one Multifaceted Flavors. Now, now you're probably going to ask me, how did you do those flavors that quickly? These seven new ones here. Well, I will post a link for every single recipe in the description box below. And then you guys can figure it out for sure. Now, once we get it all done, Obviously, on the previous video that I mentioned, you'll be able to masterwork the holiday oven, which reduces the essence, uh, the essence by 5. So instead of 15, it's 10. Okay, now I'm pretty sure I have fractal rolls. Let me just look on here. And it's going to be under your consumables category. Let's see if I have it. Yep, I have it right here. So let's deliver that to Vance, and then we'll quickly go back to the tower. And we'll need to make some dark chocolate boats also. That's for the director. You must tell me everything about the infinite forest. Everything. I will give you infinite time to tell me. Okay, so let's deliver this. Okay, also you get a triumph that's completed. Okay. So now that we have that done, we're going to quickly go to the tower. Oh, let's make sure that's progress done here. Yep, so fractal rolls are done. Uh, we still need to make the moats. I'm pretty sure we have enough. So let's quickly go here. The drifter very, very quickly. There we are, right here in the annex. Oh, and by the way, um, for Eva Levante, of course, she now has a weekly, weekly flashpoint. It's the same thing for Shax, Drifter, Gunsmith, and Savala. All you have to do is just complete eight bounties, daily or weekly. You'll get tier one powerful gear. It's the same as before. Well, I don't think it's the same as last year, but... So, <clears throat> I do want to ask one question, you guys. Um, how are you guys enjoying the Dawning 2019 so far? Is, is it like good, bad, ugly, not interested? I'll tell you one thing, folks. With uh, daily and weekly bounties in play, if you look closely and with the Season 9 Battle Pass in progress, I highly recommend get these bounties for sure because not only you get Bright Dust and 30 Essence of Dawning, but it's double XP. And even better, um, pretty sure you get the blue perk which um, increases the Season XP by a whole lot. That's just for your first five ranks per week. 
But for these guys, both dailies and weeklies, I highly recommend get them for sure. Because that will boost your season rank up a lot. But I think so far, I'm already enjoying this. And we're about to get Alpine Dash very, very soon. And I, I really hope everybody is enjoying their holiday shopping. Hope you guys are enjoying the Christmas holiday vacation, which starts up extremely soon. Or by the time I get this uploaded, it, everybody's going to be on vacation right now. So instead of just going out in like 20 below weather out there, I I would definitely recommend for everybody to stay inside. Um, enjoy the Christmas music. Be in the fireplace. Be snuggly and warm this, this holiday season. Basically for me, my favorite holiday of all time, it's a no-brainer. Christmas. It's one of the best holidays of the season. Okay, so the drifter's right here. Now, we're going to quickly make those cho uh, chocolate boats, since we don't have it in our inventory right now. So, one more time to the oven. Now let's see here. Dark chocolate milk. I've been thinking Where about taking the derelict are. to the dreaming so city. So good thing we have enough for those. Yeah, could use some new war zones. Dark chocolate milk. No bigger war zone right. than that One. these days. There we go. And we will deliver it to him right now and we'll get our Alpine Dash Sparrow. Call me Drifter. There we go. That's finished. And actually, you know what? Mm, sure. I'll pick Don't up. break that, all right? Feel like hunting some pride evils? There are always more. Okay, quickly take a look at the quests. Be seeing you, sister. Okay, again, those are really not all that important. Okay, now, um. Upgrade the Alpine Dash Sparrow by baking holiday gifts and delivering them to St. Fourteen and Spider. Okay. Let me just quickly go. I'm pretty sure St. Fourteen's most likely going to be at the hangar. Hey, hey. No <laughs> tell anyone. Fly to remote corners of the system and, throw tape and I will guarantee you one thing, folks. There has been a lot of reports on the Bungie help right now because A, not only is the EDZ Obelisk glitched and bugged right now, but also St. 14 is not in the tower. Well, I, I know he is, but right now it is glitched. So hopefully when they patch this and get this fixed up, he will be in the, the tower and thank you for um, thank you for some of, some of you guys who are providing me some information regarding the floating paradox because remember he was holding the shotgun and if you guys missed out on the Odyssey walkthroughs that I'm doing um, for same 14 I will tell you right now he is none other than a Greek Spartan and there was an argument where he was going to be either Greek or Russian, but I I definitely knew for a fact he is Greek. Okay, so yeah, he would be right around here for sure, but I don't see him in the anchor at all. So again, hopefully when they patch this, we will continue the quest line for Alpine Dash, but. I just don't see that shotgun anywhere. But anyway, uh, that's just the um, that's just the first part of the Alpine Alpine Dash uh, quest step. 
So hopefully when they patch this and get it fixed, hopefully by this week, I hope, we'll continue to provide the rest of the walkthrough as quickly as possible. So thank you again for watching this, everybody, and uh, we'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care.